Make sense? Hello? Right? Oh, I'm afraid of the unknown. Why? Because I don't know. So why are you afraid? I don't know. <laughs> because I don't know what will happen. That's why we go to psychics. That's why we go to fortune tellers. Because it somehow gives us a peace of mind if we know what is in the future. Right? That's good. But why should you be afraid of something that's not known? Why should you suffer the consequence of the negative for the things that you're not even sure about? Hello? Nakakatakot kasi hindi ko alam eh. Ba't ka natatakot? Kasi nga hindi ko alam. Doesn't make sense, right? Di ba? And why should you be so sure that when you know the future, it will happen? There's no security in this world aside from the security that God has provided us. Walang security. Are you secure that when you sleep tonight you will wake up tomorrow morning? No security. Oh yes, Pastor, my wife will wake me up. <laughs> There's no securities. Don't be afraid of the unknowns. Be prepared to face the unknown. Be prepared for the barriers in the text this year. Don't be afraid. Amen? Amen. Amen. Last but not the least. <laughs> Hallelujah. I like this. <clears throat> Launching out into the deep produces new camaraderie. It will even bring us closer to each other this year, brothers and sisters. As what Vince Diesel dialogue in uh, Fast and Furious <laughs> I don't have friends. I have family. <laughs> because look at when they launched into the deep and when they were blessed, suddenly Simon said, Call the partners. Let's gather and share this blessing. It will produce a new kind of unity, it will produce a new kind of camaraderie. Helping one another. And that's one of the secrets of belonging to a spiritual community like this. We know we are covered by prayers. We know someone is praying for us. Our heart goes to the Tolentinos. Our heart goes to the... Uh, 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 Thank God prayers are being offered to them. Our hearts are being offered. Our thoughts are being offered. And that makes the community a community. Amen? You know someone is there for you. A new form of generosity. Hallelujah. They're blessed so they can be a blessing. They did not keep the blessing, they shared it. I believe this year a new level of generosity will arise in our Hallelujah. You know? Even I was so blessed that the mission director how uh, our hopelets there in Palasin uh, experience new blessings and, and, and new toys when local sponsors are coming in to support them. I We pray for new resources to come, not only us. Because as I believe, as I said, God's work will never lack God's support. And launching out into the deep will produce a solid commitment to God. Peter said, depart from me, I am a sinful man. And at the last verse, verse 11, they forsook all and followed Jesus. Hopers, this year, 2016, will be experiencing new things. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you prepared? Yeah. Let us prepare ourselves. One thing I know, we will only be in this building until July, until September. Woo! Woo! Well, they're taking us out by September. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm excited to step into our new building. <laughs> A new car.
customized discipleship training. <laughs> Pastor Henry is designing a customized new Hope for the World Discipleship Module. <laughs> More that will equip our knowledge with the word of God, equip us to be more like a disciple rather than a member. Amen. Hallelujah. <coughs> we are combining hope groups. We're not closing any hope groups now. We're combining hope groups so forces can be joined, so forces can even be stronger and mightier. <coughs> I hate the word close because we're not closing down. We're joining, combining. <laughs> New things will happen in our missions this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The worship team will be flying Woo! to the Philippines. Can you sing that song for us? <laughs> 